Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Hollywood Studios. There's still a couple of Christmas things that I actually wanted to get done in this part and the days are counting down. We only have one week till Christmas, so I really want to take advantage of the holidays as much as I can. So, let's go do this. The park actually closes at 7 o'clock tonight, but most of the things that I actually want to get done are much better at nighttime. So we're not going to have a very big window, but we're going to make the most of it. Right now, the sun is starting to set and it's actually like that golden hour time. It's absolutely beautiful seeing that yellowish tint actually on the Christmas decorations. It's really, it's really beautiful. And when I talk about the golden hour, I'm talking about like this effect right here on the buildings. You see how it looks? And the sun's kind of just like hitting off of it. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Hollywood Studios are so amazing during the holidays. One of the things that I have not done yet is actually ride either Slinky Dog Dash. They usually do a holiday overlay, but I don't think they're doing it this year. Or Alien Swirling Saucers. They actually have a holiday overlay where they actually put on Christmas lights and Christmas music. And that's like a periodic one, like a overlay. It's like one in every four rides. So we're gonna try to see if we can get that done. Also, I wanna see the projections on the Tower of Terror. It's not a full-blown show, it's just a little bit, but I still wanna experience it for this season. It would be great if I can get all of those things done, but if I can just get one thing done, at least I know I'll enjoy the ambience of the park. So I think in fact that's going to be the first thing that I do is I head down and get on Alien Swirling Saucer because if they are doing the overlay, like I said, it's one in like every four rides that actually get it. So I'll have to wait a little bit unless I get there and it's timed perfectly. That's even if they're actually doing the overlays this year. Normally we would see I think a scarf on Woody, but I don't see any scarf. And it looks like the line for Slinky Dog Dash is right here. So it's probably about an hour wait. I'm still excited though. Even though Woody doesn't have his scarf, I feel like this is always a permanent Christmas overlay because of all the Christmas lights. And at nighttime, it does look a little Christmas city in here all year round. Actually speaking of Slinky Dog, there he goes. Looks like it's only about a 20 minute wait. Very fancy. As we're walking in right now, I can hear they're doing the Christmas overlay right now. Can you hear it? I always like pointing out hidden Mickeys whenever I see them. And look at this one right here in the actual queue for Alien Swirling Saucers. I like it. Remember when I was telling you the holiday overlay only happens every, I think, three times. So it goes regular song, regular song, regular song, holiday song. Right now in the background, you can hear it's just a regular Toy Story song. So we're going to have to ask and see if they can help us uh, make sure that we get the holiday overlay. I'm just going to ask if they can't, no biggie. I'm sure going to be able to show you on the outside. I was so close, guys. I just got up to the front. So now this is the Christmas overlay. I'm going to actually wait two rounds. They just put me off to the side here. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. So it's actually every third. I might have said that wrong, so I just want to clarify in case you guys come out and do it. And like I said, they're pretty just nice about it. Ooh, I got some good views of Slinky Dog while I wait though. Okay, we are in line. So that means our next one should be the Christmas Jingle Jangle. So this should be the Jingle Jangle. We'll find out. The Holiday Jingle Jangle. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I love it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hey, did it, did it. Oh. <laughs> Hi, friends. Oh. That was so much fun. It's definitely worth the wait. So if you're down here for the holidays, and I would definitely wait 
uh, two rides. I'd set out two rides just so I could get the holiday version. I think it's so much fun. I just like Christmas music, so that's just a plus. I'm gonna come back over and assess Slinky Dog Dash. I really do want to ride it. I want to ride it at night like really really bad, but I can't sit in line for an hour because I only have an hour and a half left in the park and it's looking like it's it's probably an hour. <laughs> so I'm gonna definitely try to come back and do Slinky Dog Dash at night. Maybe try to squeeze it in at the last second. You know as a last minute ride sometimes the wait times are significantly lower at the end of the night. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But for now, I think I'm going to cut through Batu, and this will be nice to see at night a little bit. It's always pretty in some of these parks or lands during the nighttime because you get a different perspective. It's like a whole different area. Batu is definitely one of them. And take a look at this. It looks like this R2 unit is actually going to stock up the actual uh, Coke. <laughs> look at that. I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, I'm sure it's actually been around, it's just I never actually come into a scenario where I'm actually walking behind one. I like it. It's really nifty. It's getting a lot darker, so we need to move along. I... Do you have an R2 droid attached to this one? Oh, <laughs> no R2 for this one. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that is a waste of some sophisticated technology. I feel like the droids should be working all over the park, not just Galaxy's Edge. Looks like I made it back over to Echo Lake just in time, but why aren't the light bulbs actually lit up? I'm noticing that in the water. I mean, are they normally lit up? I'm so confused. Like, I feel like this is one of those like scenarios where you're not sure what you're thinking. Like, I just always pictured all of these ornaments lit up. But maybe I'm wrong. But I might as well get some photos while I'm here. So I just asked and I was right. The ornaments are supposed to be lit up. That's so funny. I was like, wait a second, maybe they weren't. But I was like, no way, this is too dark over here. There's no possible way. I think they're fixing them right now though. But now I want to head on over to Sunset and catch the Tower of Terror projections. Now they're not doing the full show, but they are changing up the projections, uh, I think four times. And it's just a stationary show, so nothing else happens. And it's just really nice to look at. Wait a second, I'm starting to catch on here. Some of the Christmas lights aren't on. It's like really dark actually, wow. This is, this is kind of funny. I don't know what's happening. I was just looking up to admire all the lights. You know what they say, Clark. It only takes one bulb. Looks like Sunset's having no issues, though. Look at Merry and Bright all the way down Sunset Boulevard. And there it is. A look at our first projection of the night. I absolutely love it. Obviously, I feel like the Toy Hotel is my favorite one and that's probably three away. But we'll try to catch just a glimpse of each one, if we have time, hopefully we do. Only because I really do want to get on Slinky Dog Dash for a nighttime ride, and the park is only open for another, I gotta check my watch, 55 minutes. But look how awesome that looks. I love it so much. I love all the multicolor lights. You can see like a roller coaster going through there, and then the Luxo bar actually start riding around or dropping down eventually it's really really nifty that is really crazy though because the tower of terror says it's a 70 minute wait so that is longer than smugglers run that is longer than mickey and minnie's run over railway even slinky dog dash it's so beautiful over here though isn't it wow and actually as we were standing here it switched look at that now we can see like a whole entire christmas village something's uh smoking at the top it must be a chimney wow Another really cool thing I want to point out about this projection is if you look all the way up, you can see a bunch of hidden Mickey wreaths. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. It might come in if I zoom good enough. Oh, yep. They're definitely coming in. You can see it, right? It's actually starting to get a little bit cold out. I can already feel myself a little shivering. <laughs> I feel like a big baby ever since I left Pennsylvania and I've gotten used to the Florida weather. Oh, and it looks like the gingerbread has taken over the Tower of Terror. And that's the gingerbread house right there. The gingerbread tower. That's really cool. So we got to see all of them. Really awesome. 
going. I'm gonna head back down towards Toy Story Land. First, I wanna check to see what the wait time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is, because at nighttime, it definitely gets so much easier to get on these attractions. I made a whole video dedicated to it because I was like, wow, this is amazing. Look at this, it actually says a 25 minute wait. They don't even have one of those people out here with those stands. That's unbelievable. We gotta get over to Slinky Dog. Oh boy, I think we really lucked out here, guys. There's no line back here. And look at all the Christmas lights are turned on. Oh boy, I'm getting excited. Everyone's running. Why are we running? <laughs> this is so amazing. Look at this, guys. We're gonna do it. There's hardly anybody in line. Wow, we lucked out. We really lucked out here. <laughs> this is amazing. 10 minutes. Oh, I'm so happy. The reason I wanted to do Slinky Dog Dash at night is because I feel like it's a different experience. I love all the lights that are on the tracks. It just feels different at night. I'm so excited. Oh boy, here we go. Look at how pretty this is. Oh! <laughs> yes! Woo! We're going all the way up! <laughs> oh, oh, do you hear the jingle bells? Wow! <laughs> oh boy, light it up! Hang on to your hats and glasses, folks! <laughs> it's like lifeless. <laughs> We got on just in time because when we came back out, look at how the line has actually grown. I have to say, I really, I really needed that. That was amazing. The standby line is now almost back to the actual Andy's lunchbox. So it's grown like significantly. Before, we were just right up at the queue. Amazing. Now we're making our way back out to the front of the park and I noticed that some of the Christmas lights have turned back on. They must have fixed that bulb. Ooh, we gotta check on the other bulbs. <laughs> Take a look at that. They actually fixed the lights. That makes me so happy. You know, it just makes me want to sing Happy Holidays to you. Thank you. And I guess that's going to do it for me tonight. How crazy is that that we actually got everything we accomplished done in two hours? That's amazing. I am so happy that I came out here and just had a great time at Hollywood Studios. Honestly, it's so magical during the holidays. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining us for a day full of action and adventure here oh, at Disney Hollywood Studios. We hope you enjoyed the rest of your evening. Good night.